I'm Archie Clutter. I'm Vice President of Research and Development for Newsham Choice Genetics. My responsibilities are new discovery and development of technology, uh, building of breeding strategies, and then implementation of those things in the improvement of our product lines. And what are some of the new strategies that you're working on right now? Well, we continue to work on what you might continue, what you might consider to be traditional traits of production and reproduction, and uh, feed efficiency and lean growth efficiency continues to be at the top of the list of those sorts of traits. So that means looking for new ways, novel ways to uh, use direct measurements of feed intake and to optimize. Uh, uh, lean growth efficiency with prolificacy in our maternal lines, but our newer areas, sort of a new generation of traits, includes disease tolerance and sow lifetime performance and piglet um, viability and, and performance. So we, um, part, part of what we've used now for several years in, in our company is genomic technology to add accuracy for the traits that we select on and over the last five years we've been able to demonstrate that we can add accuracy for those traditional traits by adding genomic information that we discover in our group and so our new projects are aimed at discovery and application of that genomic technology on this new generation of traits. So we have a project in disease tolerance where we've started to make discoveries and are now validating discoveries around PERS tolerance and disease tolerance in pigs. And we have a similar type of study for sow lifetime prolificacy or value. Interesting, so working on uh, disease resistance for PERS, are there some other diseases that you're looking at as well? We use, we use PERS as a model for revealing, uh, studying genetic variation and genomic sources of variation for disease tolerance in general. So all of these traits, whether it's lean growth efficiency or prolificacy, uh, and now disease tolerance are complex traits in terms of genetics. So it's not one or two genes, but lots of genes per trait that are important. Um, and so when it comes to disease tolerance, we've used a controlled challenge with PERS uh, as a way to r reveal variation in response, but we're finding um, again that there are many locations in the genome that are important. And our expectation is that some of those will be important specifically for PERS, but many of those will be more broadly or generally important for disease tolerance. Uh, and then an important part of what we do in each of these studies is to follow up discovery with validation. And our validation panels include pigs from the field uh, that have been exposed to not only PERS, but circle virus, for example. Are you finding that producers are requiring more information from their genetic supplier and the fact that you've done so much research and can pro provide them with this information puts you at an advantage? Yeah, I think so. With respect to your first question, certainly I've been in the pig-related business. I was in academia for 13 years before going to Monsanto 10 years ago, so I've been in the pig business a long time and in the, in the genetics business uh, for 10 years. And the customer um, does uh, expect more information and, and we try to provide a very transparent program in general, one where we uh, always share with them the direction of the lines and, and use their feedback in establishing that direction and then uh, hold ourselves accountable with them in how closely we're able to uh, reach our expectations for genetic change. And in terms of the, the technical discoveries, uh, I think they're certainly interested in what we're doing, give us great input in terms of some practical considerations as we decide how to implement discoveries. Um, 
but the bottom line for them is always the, the performance of the product and the confidence that we'll continue um, to improve that product at, a, at an industry leading rate.